This is a 16-year-old male with bitemporal hemianopsia and chronic headaches. There is a circumscribed T1 hypointense, T2 hyperintense mass centered within the cellar and supercellar regions. The lesion demonstrates T2 flare hyperintense signal, facilitated diffusion, and a thin peripheral rim of post-contrast enhancement. There are lobular cystic components which extend into the enlarged cella tersica. The mass enlarges the supercellar cistern with elevation and effacement of the floor of the third ventricle. The lesion extends posteriorly to the level of the interproducular cistern which is slightly splayed. There is contact with an elevation of the optic chiasm and prechiasmatic segments of the optic nerves. There is also contact and partial encasement of the supraclinoid segments of the right and left internal carotid arteries. This is a case of an adamantinomatous craniopharyngioma. Craniopharyngiomas occur with a bimodal distribution. The first peak occurs between 10 to 14 years of age, while the second occurs in middle-aged adults. Pediatric cases are most commonly composed of the adamantinomatous subtype, while the papillary subtype comprises the majority of cases in middle-aged adults. Cases occur in males and females about equally. Symptoms include headaches, visual abnormalities, hormonal imbalances, and behavioral changes. Adamantinomatous craniopharyngiomas typically demonstrate a lobular contour due to the presence of multiple cystic components. The differential includes Rathke cleft cyst, cystic pituitary adenoma, epidermoid, and intracranial teratoma.